Hi, Dave Parrish here with Knack Builders. I'm going to do a, a, another video on uh, Knack functionality. Today I'm going to look at page rules. If you haven't used them, um, they're really powerful. They can help you do and configure and have things work how you want it. Uh, really easy. Uh, it's just going to be an overview. I'm going to go through the basics of them and give a few examples. But uh, I will be back in a moment. Thank you. Okay, Dave Parrish uh, with Knack Builders back to discuss uh, or have an overview of how page rules work. So let me just, I'm going to get out of this. First of all, page rules, um, you need to, I believe, the pro plan or larger to use. So you're going to make sure you're on that. And Knack actually also has an article on page rules. I'm going to put this in the comments on my YouTube video below um they go in a fair amount of detail but that could be a nice resource also so i'm just gonna mostly what i'm doing here is just share a few ways i've been using them uh there are a lot of ways to use uh page rules as clever as you want to get so uh a few examples uh, is about all i'm going to do here here's an app um that searches it's in chicago and it's for kids who are looking for vocational programs like getting ready to graduate high school this is a very specific thing i did uh using page rules but um down here when it talks about upcoming schedules some of the programs don't have set dates that a program starts and others have what might be called role intermission or it could be something different and when we were building this app we realized that was an issue because we had some uh programs that we wanted to list specific dates for in an actual table so we had some uh schools that don't have specific dates that aren't listed on the table, but they just want to write some content. And here's a school that's writing a content that's talking about upcoming programs. Here's another program that has a table that they enter of specific dates. And there may be several line items on this table. Well, depending, and actually what this is, is an answer to a question that the program has to fill out. Do you have rolling admissions or not, we call it. And if it uh, is one or the other, we want this to show. We don't want a table, if they don't have these specific dates in the future, to show up and be blank. We instead want some content to show. Page rules allows this to happen. Now I'll show you how that works. Let's go over to where this stuff is. Uh, let me get to the app here. This is this table or or page. There's a bunch of content on it. And these are all the elements. And down here is this program cycle or these the description which is they write in rolling admission. We want either one or the other of these to show and not both, otherwise the page would be confusing. So in this case, we set a rule. If rolling admissions is yes, if that's the case, meaning there aren't specific dates, then we want to hide that table of all the program, we call it program cycles, that lists all those dates. And if rolling admissions is no, we now want to hide that uh, freehand content that they can write describing how their admissions works. Hide that and um, show the cycle. So that's basically what we did. Pick that question, is rolling admissions yes or no? 
The action in this case is we want to hide certain elements. This is a list of all the elements on this page. So that's one simple thing. It's it's fairly powerful, uh, and it, I mean it makes that page work. There's other things you can do. You could show a message. You can redirect it to different things. Uh, you can get clever with these. Uh, I'm gonna give you another example. And I mean, obviously the way you do it, you just go to rules that appear up here. At this blank, it will say add a rule. And then you configure it how you want. And you pick your actions and what you're gonna do. And if you need another rule, you click plus and you add another rule. Um, I'm gonna grab another one. This is, it's for admitting schools or kids to schools. They apply and very thing, various things happen, but in various workflows happen. Once you, so here's, this is all test data, but um, this is the detailed page of a child. It is all about the child. It's a history of when they applied, when they submit, all the different things, what parents have uploaded, um, various actions that need to be occurred. Just a, it's, these are logs of all the stuff that happens during this somewhat detailed application process. And down at the bottom is the whole application the child had. And notice there's various different things up here uh, that people can do. They can, you know, go back and forth and um, do actions upon this, add stuff, update stuff, a variety of things. And um, this, I'm going to go to the builder. There's a lot going on on that view. And we have more than one type of user that goes to this detail page. It's sort of the core of this application, all the stuff about the kids. But some of the different users, we don't want to be able to perform certain actions. So how page rules allows us to do that and still keep almost everything on one page within NAC so we don't have to rebuild it for every single user. That's where these rules come in place. So if it's a certain type of school, there's a couple different types, things that don't apply to that school are now hidden. This is what these do. Now these get into the different user roles. If an account is this type of user, we want this hidden, this hidden, and that hidden. Because we don't want to do what these things allow them to do. We don't want them to have the access to do it. Some other administrator does it. Um, and this goes on, same sort of thing. And we're just hiding and showing different types of things based on um, criteria we already have in the app. And another thing we did on this one, which I did a video on the other, the other day, is, let me get to it. A universal login. We have a bunch. Look at these. There's a bunch of different user types. And at first, we just started off with one, and this grew and grew. But what we want is a single place. We started handing out these different URLs for each one of these, and that gets confusing. And it's it's just plain difficult. And when they log out, they're, they log out to the top page, if you know what I'm talking about. But we created a... Uh, a single login page and you can accomplish that with rules so if you're an admin redirect to an existing page and we want them to be redirected to the admin's home if you are a parent redirect to the parent's home so that allows us that one single page with one login to for everyone to go where they need to go without having to manage a bunch of uh, different URLs. And especially if something changed with the URL, we can all make this jive easily using page rules. Um, that's about all I had. It's it's simple, it's it's really powerful, uh, and it's only limited with your uh, creativity because you can solve a lot of things with this. Uh, that's all I have. If you uh, like the video,
you know what to do down below. You can sign up um, or subscribe, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, folks. Bye.